Hey, it's Steve. Well, I recently picked up quite a few items I'll be using on some upcoming uh, model train layouts I'll be building here in the next few months. One of those will be another donation layout project for uh, my son's school uh, for an auction coming up in April. The other layouts will be ones that I'll be selling to, to different people. All of them will be quite small in the order of a couple feet by a couple feet in size. Um, uh, one's going to be an ON30 layout and the other three will all be N-scale layouts. So anyway, let's take a look at the items I picked up and what I have planned uh, for those items. Okay, so first off, I picked up two of these Woodland Scenics uh, built and ready landmark structures. One is this Emilio's uh, Italian restaurant, and the other is this general store. These are all structures that have uh, some interior detail. The detail is basically just a printed card um, that's placed uh, behind the windows, but the windows themselves have detail on them. And, and these are really nice structures. This, both of these are gonna be used on an ON30 layout that I'll be building to donate to my son's school for their silent auction this year that they have every year in April. Um, and so, you know, between my 60, 70 hour work weeks and, you know, family stuff, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna have a lot of time to build structures, uh, you know, in the next four or five weeks to get this done. And so as a result, I'm using two built up structures that I can use directly on the layout. And what I'll be doing for this layout is using this uh, ON30 streetcar that or trolley car that I have and so the idea is to have a small layout uh, with these two structures and then I'll have like a forested hillside behind it with probably a tunnel that the uh, trolley goes through as well so be, this will be a small layout you know it'll probably be about two and a half feet by you know two by two and a half feet in size so you know pretty small pretty portable but that's kind of the idea here uh, of this uh, of this layout. So I'm going to leave the structures here in the plastic for now. I don't want to damage any of the details that are on here. Um, it's kind of hard to see the details real close here, but you can kind of get an idea of what these structures look like. So I'll probably do maybe a, a bit of weathering on them and you know, try to dull things down a little bit. But you can see here the general store, what we have there. So we've got some signs on there, um, lots of you know, electrical detail, there's downspouts added in, um, you know, garbage cans, dumpsters in the back. So there's really a lot of great stuff on these, on these structures. These are not cheap structures, obviously. These are both around $100 a piece. And so you know, right, right there off the bat, I got $200 in structures on this little layout project. Um, everything else, for the most part, is stuff that I already have. I'm not really going to be buying anything new besides probably some wood to put this on. Um, but everything else is basically items that I already have in terms of all the scenery supplies and um, everything else I'll be using on this layout. And so really the only thing I had to buy were these two structures. I already, I've had this ON30 trolley for a long time. I haven't used it for anything. So that's what's going to be used here for this layout project. So anyway, that is going to be one of the projects. Um, I'll scoop this off to the side. Uh, the other ones are going to be N-scale projects. One of them will be an urban scene. I did pick up one built and ready structure here. This is uh, Boyd's Billiards and Barbershop here. So you can kind of see here again, it's kind of difficult to get this here without all the glare, but you can kind of get an idea of what this structure looks like. So very much like the O-scale one, obviously the O-scale one has uh, more details that are added on because it's a larger structure, but it's very similar. You know, obviously a lot of the details aren't going to be quite as, as, as uh, intricate as it would be O-scale one, but certainly still a nice amount of detail. Um, I am going to have additional structures on the N-scale layout that I'll be building. That's going to be an urban scene. One of those, uh, I'll be kind of kit bashing this DPM structure kit which uh, is the Goodnight Mattress Company. And really, the, the, the big thing I wanted to show is the Town & Factory building set. This is, if you're gonna be building a lot of structures for a, a layout that's gonna have sort of an urban type scene, this is really the way to go. You get, uh, let's see, I think 13, 13 structures plus a lot of details 
in terms of parts and everything, and it's it's only hundred dollars for this whole kit. So you get thirteen structures for you know over you know for hundred dollars, um, and so you get a lot. Of, this goes with the uh, Woodland Scenics uh, three by six foot end scale layout that you can buy that has you know all the the scenery and everything, and so it's kind of designed for that. But obviously you can use it for whatever you want. But you get some uh, uh, various signs and and things here along with some black paper to use for blocking out light on the interior. You get all these great structure kits and detail parts. You know, the Baxter hardware kit, the lone pawn shop kit. Um, now obviously you can make any of these detail, these kits anything you want. A lot of times I'll kind of kit bash these into my own type of structures. And even though, even if you're building a modern layout, you know, the reality is these type of buildings still exist today. The downtown area of the town that I live in is full of buildings that look just like this that are, you know, that were built, you know, middle of the last century. And so, you know, you can easily find a lot of these structures in, in uh, even in modern cities. And so uh, they really can be used in any time period, which is kind of nice. And, and these, again, are, are pretty simple to build. They're just basically four walls. Uh, you can build these structures really quickly. I mean, you can just basically cut off the little sprue part pieces, sand everything, glue it together, get everything sort of assembled very quickly. Uh, the, the work is all in the painting since there's a lot of details that are all molded on. So uh, I'll, I'll go over some of that. In my previous micro, mini layout that I had built uh, several years ago, I went over how I built some of these structures and painted them, but I'll have more of that uh, coming up here with this new layout project. Uh, this is uh, another larger uh, uh, manufacturing or transfer facility as well and then in here we have all kinds of these cast metal detail parts which are which are really nice and so again pretty nice overall set of kits here um, again if you're doing a downtown scene or you're seeing a lot of structures and you want to you know do it cost effectively this is a great way to go hundred dollars you get 13 buildings a lot of detail parts you can use and so uh, really just a nice nice way to buy a lot of things in bulk for a really good price so how do you recommend that so again, this will be used on the urban layout that I'll be building, which will also be very small, probably in the order of like 18 by 24 inches, something like that. Um, I did buy some more track that I'll be using for these micro layouts that I'm building. One will be, again, the urban town scene. The others are going to be pretty much just mountain scenes with a, a train going through it with no structures, just mountains and trees and tunnels and things like that. Um, this sort of just layout that you can display a train on and run. So I got some various pieces of unit track. I have a whole bunch of unit track already, but I just picked up some random pieces that I'll, I may or may not need. Uh, just so I'll have them on socks. So basically just different radiuses going from six inches all the way up to, I think, nine and three quarters. So I kind of can have an extra supply of those. Uh, as well as some bridges. I got three different bridges here. Um, there's three truss, uh, a deck girder bridge, and uh, another one as well. One, they have these new ones that are out that are sort of these curved bridges. Um, they're basically the same as these, uh, is their straight ones, but they basically have curved track on them. You just add a little bit of variety potentially. So I might use these. On the last, it'll be more of the mountain scenes. I also picked up um, a couple small end scale turnouts. This is a small uh, Pico one with a nine inch radius. So kind of like, I, I don't like the, the Kato number four turnouts there. You have to really do a lot of work to get them to work well. They just trains derail on them all the time. The number six are fantastic. Nothing derails on those, but the number fours are a hot mess sometimes. And so uh, I went ahead and picked up this for their six inch radius track, this, uh, this turnout here to see how that works because I've never used it before. And so this might be handy on one of the micro layouts. Um, and then I also picked up this nine inch radius uh, curve from Pico. The Pico turnouts are really good. And so I, I might combine this with the unit track on, on the one layout that I'll be building. The, the two mountain scenes will just be a loop of track um, or oval of track with nothing else really on it in terms of uh, turnouts or anything. But the urban one will have probably one or two turnouts. There's at least a siding for a, a, a industry or whatever or two that can be switched out, you know, if you're operating a little layout. So that's why I have these. And so we'll go ahead and see how that works out. I don't have any track plans or designs exactly, you know, besides what's in my head at this point, but I'll be uh, going through those here as we go forward in time. So anyway, that's a look at some products I'll be using on some upcoming layout projects. That's all for now. And thanks for watching. Bye.